As I said, deep learning is a branch of machine learning. And what is deep learning? Deep learning uses artificial neural network. And what are artificial neural network? Neural network is a computation model that is inspired in the way the biological neural networks in the human brain process information. And deep learning is when you use, is a general term, to explain the application and development of very large neural networks in many layers of neurons connected to one another. It's not an easy definition, but let me show you some examples uh, if in a way to clarify your understand of what is deep learning. This is a, an example, a very simple neural network, a deep neural network. You have your input data, your features, and you have your target value, the Y at the end of this uh, neural network here. Yes. And in the middle, you have what? You have hidden layers with different units. And you connect all the, the input features with the, the units in the hidden layers, uh, with errors in this case, what are the errors? Errors are weights, are parameters. And this is the objective of a, a neural network, to really learn these weights, to connect, and after that, to predict what is, for example, in this case, your new eye. Yes, but let's have a look in one unit. What neuron? A neuron, in fact, he receives, as you can see, inputs from all the features, Yes, and he made uh, uh, an equation, yes, a mathematical equation that could be, for example, a linear regression equation and then apply on top of this uh, kind of activation function uh, in a way that the signal that he received in the input could be passed through the output or not. It depends. And this is what the neural network wants to learn. We we'll learn the sizes, the, 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 the weights to connect and everything. And this is a very tough learning uh, period that because the neural network learns by going from the input data uh, through the hidden layers until get the final value and then uh, calculate a loss function and bring uh, this data back to the beginning in a propagation, back propagation algorithm and use this kind of iteration, maybe hundreds, thousand cycles of iteration until he, he can learn the weights that connect all these units to predict a, a new class. This is a very simple kind of deep learning architecture, yes, and the, the role of a machine learning engineer in this case here is to define the number of units, the number of layers that you have, the kind of uh, optimization algorithm to really help to use the best weights until he gets a very good result at the end. But uh, as I said, this is a simple neural network. We have different kinds of architecture. For example, a recurrent neural network is used for uh, sequence data. And what is a sequence data? A sentence is a sequence because one word depends on, on the, the, the word maybe before or after uh, in, in a sequence, in a position that is important. You cannot lose the position to really get the understanding of a sentence. The same, for example, in a stock, stock market. To predict the, the value of a stock today, maybe you have to understand what was the value yesterday and the day before and a month ago, two months ago, a year ago. There, there are a sequence of data and this kind of uh, architecture, recurrent uh, neural network are very important to, to, to deal with this kind of data. If we have pictures, maybe the best ar architecture is a convolution neural network because it tries to emulate the same kind way that we in our brains uh, see and understand the features in a picture, in a, in a movie. F maybe first lines and arrows and things like that. And then this kind of ar architecture, you use different kinds of layer, convolution layers, is kind of filters that are, are getting the most important features to build to build a, a network and then at the end has a, a fully connected network to classify, for example, if that number is the number four or not, what kind of number is that. And 
Here is a very, very big neural network. It's a transformer. It's BERT from Google. Yes, with lots of different layers. You can see that this is not easy. Uh, it's an architecture for sure that takes lots of people, a lot of time to build, but at the end is very, very powerful to help you in natural language processing. Then you can see that deep learning has different kinds of architecture, has different ways to learn and has some problems. It's important to say that you can fool the network sometimes. If you mix the data, if you put some, some errors in the data, it's not perfect. They are for sure have, have some problems to use deep learning, but the results in, in computer vision, in natural language processing and some other areas are very interesting and very powerful and deep learning was the te technology below all the other branches of artificial intelligence that made this field so important in this decade and probably for the decades that come ahead.